Hi, good morning students. This is Raj, Gajendra Pillai, Kana Kingdom. Today we are going to learn about English, English grammar. The topic which we will go through is articles. The topic articles. So be ready with your notebooks, pencils, so that you can write down and note down all the important definitions and examples. So students, today we will look into the contents, what all we are going to learn in the topic articles. What are articles? Types of articles, indefinite article, uses of indefinite article, definite article, uses of definite article and exercise to do in the last. So now, for your information, today we will be looking at the top four. We will be looking what are articles, types of articles, indefinite articles, uses of indefinite article. And in the next session, we will continue with definite article, uses of definite article and exercise to do. So now, today we are looking at four things. What are articles? type of articles, indefinite articles and exercise to do in the last, right? So be ready with your notebook and pencils. So now we will be looking into what is an article. The article are the words a, a an, an and the. They define whether something is specific or unspecific. What is an article? The articles are the word a, a and an and the, the. They define whether something is specific or unspecific. There are two kinds of articles. Definite articles and indefinite articles. Definite articles, the, the, the are used for specific nouns. Article a and an are used for non-specific nouns. Definite articles, the are used for specific nouns. I see a dog in the street. I want the car. The street, the car. These are the specific nouns that I saw this morning. Indefinite article A and N are used for non-specific nouns. I see a dog, a dog, the girls see a big black dog, I want an apple, I want an apple, I say I want an apple, an apple, it's non-specific noun, so now what we have seen, let's go to the next page, before going to the next page, let's see what are articles? The articles are the words a, a and an, t, h, e, the. They define whether something is specific or unspecific. There are two kinds of articles. Definite articles, indefinite articles. The are used for specific nouns. A and a, n are used for non-specific nouns that are indefinite articles. Indefinite articles, t, h, e, the are used for specific nouns. Now let's go in the next page. Too. So now we will be looking into the types of articles. We will be looking into types of articles. Articles are words which tells us whether a noun is general, any noun, or specific. There are three articles. Actually there are two articles but it is categorized into three. The specific and definite. The sun rises in the east. A. General or indefinite. A boy is reading a book. N. 
जनरल और इनडेफिनेट वेन फॉलोड बाई ए नाउन विच बिगैंस विद ए वोवल वॉट आर वोवल्स द वोवल्स आर ए आई ओ यू द आर्टिकल्स आर वर्ड्स विच टेल्स अस वेदर ए नाउन इज जनरल एनी नाउन और स्पेसिफिक दीज आर सपरेटेड इन थ्री कैटेगरीज राइट देर आर टू आर्टिकल्स विच इज कैटेगराइज इन टू थ्री द स्पेसिफिक और डेफिनेट the sun arises in the east where it says the sun it's a definite thing the sun rises in the east a general or indefinite a general or indefinite a boy a boy is reading a book is reading a book it's not specific he is reading a book which book what book we don't know but a is addressed with the noun book a boy is reading a book when is talking about book it's not specific so now look into an a n n general or indefinite when followed by a noun which begins with an vowel what are the vowels a e i o u e a a n aeroplane whenever there is a hole begins with a a e i o u an aeroplane is flying in the sky always an is used before the noun which begins with vowel a e i o u So now here we have seen an aeroplane. Always it's addressed as n. If it is e g g f, which starts e a e. Again elephant. It would be n used in prior to the noun which begins with the vowel. An egg, an elephant. Right. So now an aeroplane is flying in the sky. Now you know you come to know that why is an used? An is used where it's general or indefinite. It's indefinite. And the noun which begins with a vowel, the noun which began with the vowel aeroplane, right? What is to be added in front of it? A and the an an is to be written prior to that. now with begins with the vowel an aeroplane is flying in the sky the sun rises in the east when we say this is the specific thing the the sun rises in the east a boy is reading a book when it is saying it's not it's indefinite a book what it's not specific book it's not something particular about specific and particular and general is generally saying that it's a book right now we have seen the types of articles it is the a and an there two articles definite and indefinite definite is the t h e the are used for specific nouns indefinite articles a and an are used for non specific nouns right it's specific and non specific when you talk about a book a dog a monkey a elephant when we talk an elephant when we talk about this this is indefinite right so the words used is a and an an is used where the noun begins with oval and when it is general or indefinite we use a a book a dog a kite right so now let's go to the next page so now let's see indefinite articles when we talk about indefinite articles a and an comes in the indefinite articles 
the indefinite indefinite articles a and n is used before singular countable nouns it said that indefinite article a and n is used before singular countable nouns we use a before a noun which begins with a consonant and an before noun which begins with an vowel right definite article is the indefinite article is a and an a and an the indefinite article a and a and an is used before singular countable noun singular countable noun singular means single a one we use a before nouns which begins with a consonant consonants are clear a e i o u these are the let these are the alphabets which are which are the letters which are vowels leaving this vowels all other alphabets of the 26 alphabets 21 are consonants consonant sound and n before a noun which begins with an vowel sound so now let's see the examples of it a dolphin a university u university it sounds like an consonant sound why u university when we talk about university a house a dolphin a university a house now let's see the examples of an an elephant start e starts a e i o u it's a vowel an elephant an umbrella an r we talk about an r h o u h doesn't sound h becomes silent an r so the indefinite article is used before singular countable noun we use a before noun which begin with a consonant sound and an before noun which begins with vowel sound a dolphin a university a house an elephant an umbrella an r when we talk about this we need to know the indefinite article is used before singular countable nouns we use a before noun which begins with a consonant sound and an before noun which begins with a vowel sound so now indefinite article is been explained now let's go to the next page for more elaboration and more knowledge about indefinite article the indefinite article a and an in front of countable nouns we are mentioning for the first time i saw a cat in the street in front of the countable nouns we are mentioning for the first time see the example i saw a cat in the street a cat with singular countable nouns when we talk about things in general an airplane is fast than an airplane is faster than a train an airplane is faster than a train correct it flies and it goes on the rail tracks so it's fast so now how it's addressed here a train an airplane is faster than a train the indefinite is used before a train after the verbs 
B and have Jack is a waiter I have a pencil Jack is a waiter I have a pencil these are the verbs be and have after the verbs when we use jack is a waiter i have he pencil with the names of professions he is a doctor he is a doctor a doctor before time and measurement phrases half an hour cucumbers are 3 pounds a kilo half an hour before the times of measurement before time they used to guess times at that time it was like half an hour cucumbers are 3 pounds a kilo pounds are also the measurements it was guessed so this much is 1 pound this much is 2 pound this much is 2 pound long long ago it was water system after that the time and the measurement was invented later it was very late older times they used to guess time this is the tree the sun is on the top it must be 12 o'clock that's how they measure the time they used to see afternoon morning evening suba morning suba suba they used to call us morning afternoon evening and night this was the timings guessing times at that time because there was no perfect mapping of time and measurement with a noun complement it is a good dog with the time with a noun complement it's a good dog in front of word very in front of word very v e r y very so now you have seen the certain examples where indefinite article is used where in front of countable nouns with a singular countable noun before a verb before a profession before time and measurement with a noun complement all the words used is a it is a good day a good day cucumbers are 3 pounds a kilo a kilo half an hour he is a doctor in the verbs jack is a waiter i have a pencil i have a pencil aeroplane is faster than a train i saw a cat in the street an aeroplane an aeroplane is faster than a train here both the indefinite articles have been used an aeroplane is faster than a train i saw a cat in the street so this is indefinite article indefinite article is what a and an wherever it's used in countable nouns in singular countable nouns in verbs in name of profession before time and measurement half an hour cucumbers are 3 pounds a kilo in a complement the noun complement it is a good day it's a good dog right so now let's go to the next page for the the use of indefinite article now we will see the examples to understand better about the indefinite articles the indefinite article is used to refer to something for first time or to refer to a particular member of a group or class some use cases and examples are given below indefinite article is used to refer to something for first time or to refer to a particular member of a group or class some use cases and examples are given below use a to refer to something for first time examples would you like a drink a to refer something for first time would you like a drink i have finally got a good job i have finally 
got a good job an elephant and a mouse fell in love the indefinite article is used to refer something for first time or to refer to particular member of a group or class some use cases and examples are given below the cases are given below you can read the examples would you like a drink i have finally got a good job an elephant and a mouse fell in love right these are the examples of indef indefinite article for something for first time or to refer particular member particular member when you talk about particular member it's an elephant and a mouse an elephant and a mouse it's it refers for first time would you like a drink i have finally got a good job i have finally got a good job is talking something about the reference of the indefinite article right here it's referred with the examples a drink a good job an elephant a mouse right so now let's go to the next page now let's see the use of indefinite article use a with a singular noun after a word what and such use a what is a a is a indefinite article with a singular noun after the words what and such use of a with a singular noun after the words what and such the examples are given what a shame when you talk how it is used what a shame after what a is used right she is such a beautiful girl such a right what a lovely day what a what a lovely day when we talk about what a lovely day the words indefinite is used after what and such what a shame she is such a beautiful girl what a lovely day so now the use of indefinite is after what and such use a with a singular noun it's a singular noun after the word what and such so we have seen the three examples of it how it's used after what and such so now let's go to the next page now let's see the use of indefinite article naming members of a group use a with names of jobs naming members of a group use a with names of jobs examples john is a doctor john is a doctor mary is training to be an engineer he wants to be a dancer use a with nationalities and religions in singular use a with nationalities and religion in the singular examples john is an english man cat is catholic is talking about nationalities and religion john is an english man cat is catholic in the first examples on the top use a with the names of job example starts with john is a doctor mary is training to be an engineer he wants to be a dancer now 
यूज ए विथ नेशनैलिटीज एंड ए रिलीजन इन सिंगुलर जॉन इज एन इंग्लिश मैन इट टॉक्स अबाउट नेशनैलिटी जॉन इज एन इंग्लिश मैन केट इज कैथोलिक दिस टॉक्स अबाउट रिलीजन सो नाउ वी हैव सीन द नेम्स ऑफ जॉब्स ए डॉक्टर एन इंजीनियर ए डांसर here in the in the nationality and religion we have seen an englishman a catholic how the words indefinite articles a and an is used at its place a doctor an engineer a dancer an englishman a catholic so you have to memorize it how it's been used how it's been used indefinite articles a and an how it's placed singular in which place and how we present it and how the sentence completes with an indefinite article where is an used where is a used right so now let's go to the next page for the so now let's see the list of indefinite article examples there's a list i will read it out you need to write it down example of indefinite article a boy an apple a car a helicopter an elephant a big elephant an itchy sweater an ugly duck a european a university a unit an hour an honor so these are the examples which were a and and fits where we have to write a boy an apple a car a elephant a helicopter a big elephant an itchy sweater an ugly duck a european a university a unit an hour an honor so these are all the examples of indefinite art, art indefinite articles so now let's go to the next page so now we will see the use of indefinite article use a with a name of days of the week when not referring to any particular day now use a with the names of days of the week when not referring to any particular day examples i was born on a thursday i was born on a thursday could i come over on a saturday sometime these are the names of days i was born on a thursday could i come over on a saturday sometime what are this these are use of a with the names of week right understood about this example i was born on a thursday could i come over on a saturday on a saturday is talking about referring of the particular day referring a day names of the day when we call about names of the day names of the day are monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so these are the days of week these are the name of the days now use a to refer to an example of something Ref use a to refer to an example of something the mouse had a tiny nose the mouse had a tiny nose the elephant had a long trunk the elephant had a long trunk we talk about trunk the elephant had a long trunk it was a very strange car it was a very strange car the mouse had a tiny nose the elephant had a long trunk it was 
very strange car. We will talk about car. What is strange in it? Maybe the steering, maybe a beautiful car, maybe a strange car doing some extra, extra features in it. It was a very strange car. When you talk about strange car, elephant had a long trunk, mouse had a tiny nose. So now here it's referring to something. Strange car, elephant had a long trunk, mouse had a tiny nose. It's trying to refer to something. Right? So now let's go to the next page. Now we will look into use of a and an a and an what is a and an this is the article indefinite general or indefinite a is used in front of singular countable noun it's used before a singular countable noun a person animal or thing whenever Singular countable noun comes prior to a person, animal or thing which are not specific. A is used. A is used. A dog, a chicken, a boy, a teacher, a girl, a website. These are the things like examples. A is used in front of a singular countable noun, a person, a animal or thing which are not specific. We don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns. We don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns. When plural nouns are, what is singular and plural? Singular is one. Plural is more than one. When anything is more than one, A is not used there. A cannot be used with a plural nouns. Uncountable nouns. It cannot be used. If a noun starts with a consonant, leaving A, E, I, O, U, that are vowels, leaving that vowels, all are consonants. After A comes B, C, D. Again, E is not there, F, G, H, I is not there, J, K. So all these are consonants. A comes before the noun. Where does this A comes? If a noun starts with a consonant, if noun starts with consonants, leaving that whole, it comes always before a noun. We don't use it before uncountable or plural nouns. What is plural? More than one. Countable is one. When we see uncountable, it, when it comes like uncountable, we cannot use it. We cannot use it before a plurals. If a noun start with a consonant, any words of person, animal, thing, which starts, which are not specific and singular, we can use it. A, A, A comes before the noun. A website, when we talk about a website, A website, it's one. A lesson, it's one. Lessons, we cannot use it. We cannot use. When it is more than one, in a plural form, we cannot use it. N. Now let's see N. N is used in front of singular countable nouns which are not specific. Where is N used? N is used in front of singular countable nouns which are not specific. Like an umbrella, an owl, an image, an hour, an enemy. Like. So we don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns. If the noun starts with a vowel sound A, E, I, O, U 
एन कम्स बिफोर द नाउ एनी थिंग दैट स्टार्ट विथ ओवल ए एन टी एंड एन एंड ई एलिफेंट ई एल ई पी एच ए एन टी एलिफेंट टॉक अबाउट आई इमेज एन इमेज वी टॉक अबाउट वो एन आउल ओ डब्ल्यू एल एन आउल यू यू कम्स Umbrella, U M B R E L L A. If the noun starts with a vowel sound, A E I O U, N comes before the noun. An umbrella, an owl, an image, an R, an enemy, an author, etc. A and N. Where is A used? A used. in front of singular countable noun a person animal or thing a noun we don't use before uncountable or plural nouns if a noun starts with a consonant b c d f g h j leaving all the vowels a comes before the noun an is used in front of singular countable noun which are not specific we don't use a before uncountable or plural nouns if the noun starts with a vowel sound a e i o u n comes before the noun an umbrella an owl an image an enemy an author so now you have got the use of e a and n a n a n n a public a n n so now let's go to the next page now now let's look into the exercise to do what is the exercise this is the work to be done by you but i'll help you i will tell the answers you need to memorize it and write it in your notebook right so now the usage of A N A N N A oblique A N N octopus an octopus a map a map a wire an owner a factory an earthworm an idiom A N N idiom a printer a self a donkey a cousin. an onion a window an envelope a university a hair an ambulance a pilot so now these are the answers i have given have come to know what are the answers write it down i would repeat if you want one more time the usage of a oblique a n n a octopus a map a wire an owner a factory an earthworm an idiom a printer a self a donkey a cousin an onion a window an envelope a university a hair an ambulance a pilot so now i am sure you have written it or shall i repeat one more time i'm repeating it one more time a octopus a map a wire a owner a factory an earthworm an idiom a printer a self a donkey a cousin an onion a window an envelope a university a hair an ambulance a pilot so now you must have written memorize it now let's go to the next page so now here is one more exercise which you have to complete it i will help you in the answers this exercise to do circle the correct answers a and t h e the 
moon is shining brightly tonight what would be the answer a or the the moon is shining brightly tonight chung fai have a the reason for being absent from school chung fai have a reason for being absent from the school the english test will end in a an hour the english test will end in an hour a n an hour samuel has to cross a an river on the way to school samuel has to cross a river on the way to school kuala lumpur is a the capital of malaysia kuala lumpur is the capital of malaysia a n eskimo lives in an igloo an eskimo lives in an igloo do you know a the man who is wearing a the hat the answer is do you know the man who is wearing a hat do you know the man who is wearing a hat do you have an axe and a saw do you have an axe and a saw what is saw saw is the carpenter which use to cut the wooden logs a wooden frame he has to make he cuts that thing is called as saw axe it with which you cut the trees axe is the thing which you cut the trees right so you got the answers now right so now we will be joining in the next session with the next part of it right we will join with the next part with the lessons of definite article today we have learned about what are articles types of articles indefinite articles uses of indefinite articles we have done the exercise as well we have seen where a is used where a n is used right in the definite articles i will be there with the next session with definite articles uses of definite articles and exercise to do